Upon a time in a small village nestled at the edge of a dense forest lived a curious kid named Raj. Raj was known throughout the village for his insatiable thirst for knowledge and adventure. His big brown eyes sparkled. Thanks to video AI generator, I'm going to show you how to do this. So basically we're going to use image and I'm going to show you how to actually generate this image. So we're going to use Majonin. I'm going to show you how the best prompt you can use to generate this image and then how to also get your best AI voiceover for your video. So this can help you create a very simple cartoon image and then we're going to use ChatGPT to generate a story. So this is going to be pretty very quick and I'm going to walk you through everything with no step skip. So let's jump right into this and see how we can create this. Now the first thing we need to do is to come to ChatGPT and then we're going to test ChatGPT to write a very short story for us. So I have my story over here. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT to write a, a short story about a kid and a tiger and a young boy in less than 200 ways. So that is basically what we're going to do. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT to write this story. So I'm going to copy this and then send this to ChatGPT and then paste it here. And then ChatGPT is going to write the story for us. So ChatGPT has generated a story for us and then we're going to use the best voice over. So I'm going to copy this text and then move it to 11labs.io and then I'm going to generate the voice over for my video. So you can actually play this and then listen to or you can just search for any audio version. So you can have any names at all you want to use. You can just select any of them from here. So the next thing to do is to download this voiceover. So I'm going to click on download this audio. So I'm just going to click on the download and then download this audio for voiceover. Okay, so this has been downloaded successfully. Now we need to actually generate the Majoni prompt. I've already done that, but I'm going to walk you through how to do that. And I'll leave the link at the description and then you can follow to also do that. Now from the same chat GPT, from the same so from ChatGPT, what we're going to do is that we're going to copy this. I'm going to put everything in the description of this video. So I'm going to put everything in the description of this video. So we're going to tell ChatGPT to write a Majoni prompt for every sentence to get image from Majoni. So we'll go to ChatGPT and then just paste this. And then ChatGPT is going to give us some prompt to use. Now I need to apply some other effects in order to get exactly what I want. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So ChatGPT have generated about journey prompt that we can use to generate our images. So we can see over here we have our journey prompt. Now we're going to go here and then we can start doing that. So I'm also going to leave the link to this site at the description. So just go and type backslash and I'm going to use this prompt, the imagine prompt. And then we're going to copy this prompt from ChatGPT. So create an image depicting a tranquil village and whatever. You, know, you can copy any of them. You can do everything one after the other. So I'm just going to copy the second sentence to show you how to do that. The process is going to be the same throughout. So I'll go back to my joining, which I'm using. I'm actually using Blue Willow. So I'm going to paste this here. And then I'm actually going to add this additional effect in order to get the realistic image I want. So hyper realistic, I'm going to add this effect to it. So actually this is supposed to be a colon. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to leave this at the description. So I'll copy this and then paste this in addition and then hit enter and then wait for Majoni to generate this for me. So as you can see, Majoni went ahead to generate this prompt for us. And the next thing we need to do is we can see we have different UI. So any of them that you want to generate, if I want one, I can just if I want one, I just have to click on one, that the UI one, if I want two. So I'm just going to download just about two of that. And we're going to do that for each and every prompt. So you can just follow the step. Once you know you are familiar with one step, then that is the same process you use for the rest. So I'm going to just follow the same process and repeat the entire process for the rest of the prompt. As you can see, I'm able to generate just for the individual images. So I'm now going to download this image onto my computer. So I'll just right click and then just save this image. So 
So I'm going to save this image onto my computer. So I've actually saved this image onto my computer. And what is going to happen next is that I'm actually going to go ahead and then use the same prompt. We have different other prompts over here. You just have to run this entire prompt. So I'm going to do for the second one. And then I'll show you what you need to do next in order to get your video. So I'll come back here, run a different prompt. Prompt here. And then I'll add the other effects, the hyper-realistic. So I'm going to add this in addition to that. And then I can go ahead and then hit enter. So you can see the journey went ahead to generate additional image for us. In this case, I just want the fourth one. So I'm just going to click on U4 and just get this image, the fourth image from here. So I have my fourth image, which I'm going to download. I'm going to click on this. Then right click and download this image onto my computer. So the so the final part is to go to this website that's runawayml.com. That's a machine learning website. And what is going to happen is that we're actually going to create a free account. So go ahead and click on sign up for free. I'm going to leave the links to this website as well at the description of the video. So you want to sign up, you can use your email or even if you have an Apple account, you can just use that or just sign up using a different email. So I'm going to sign up using Google to actually access this account. So I'm going to click on this. So when you sign up onto this account, just go ahead and then click on the try free for now. If you have money, you can go for other account which allows you to basically create more. But for now, we're going to use free. So now from our account, we can either create a text to video or image to video. Remember, we've already generated our image using Majorning already, the Discord account. So since we have this, we're going to use image to do that. So we're going to use image instead of using text. So let's go ahead and then add our image. So click on image to video. So you can basically skip these steps. And then you can see from here, we can actually upload our image. So just click on the image, upload image. And I'm going to select the image which I've downloaded. So open this. So when the image is done processing, all you have to do is to click on generate. Now it's going to take some time to render your image mm -hmm. and convert it into a video. So our image has been connected. So our image has been converted into video. You can play this to see. As you can see, this image is now a video. And then we can do or repeat the entire step for, we can repeat the entire step for the rest of our videos, okay? So we can repeat the entire step for the remaining prompts that we had from me joining and then use the same process and generate this video. And then we can just go ahead and then download. Once you are done with everything, just go ahead and then download this. So when you're done downloading this video, all you have to do is to go to your, just go to your favorite video editor. Basically, I use, I use Adobe Premiere to do my editing. So all you have to do is to go to your favorite, go to your favorite. So all you have to do is after you are done with everything, just make sure you move everything and then the audio, the voiceover, which we downloaded, you can just move everything here everything that we have just move everything to your video editor just move everything there and then you can edit your video here export your video save and then export your video so just move everything to the timeline save and then export your video and then that'll be all for now so you can just create as many as you want just do this repeat this entire process for each and every prompt you had from chat gpt so generate every prompt here i'm going to leave the description or the prompt you have to, you have to use i'll leave everything in the description just copy everything repeat this entire process for each and every 
Repeat this process for each and every prompt and then generate image and then follow the entire step and then create the video for every and every, and create a video for each and every one of these prompts and then you can join everything either using your favorite video editor. I use Adobe Premiere so I will rely on this, edit everything, add the voiceover and then I will export this and then I can upload to my channel. So basically this is how to create image to video generator using this simple trick and an AI tool. So I'll come your way again. Bye bye.